Hello students. So here we are gonna learn the numerical based on gamma function. So we'll see how to apply the properties of gamma function to evaluate the given question. So here we have the value of i of n as root pi by 2 gamma n plus 1 upon 2 whole upon gamma n by 2 plus 1 and we have to show that i of n plus 2 is equal to n plus 1 upon n plus 2 into i of n. Now guys you must be thinking that if the gamma function is given then we must use the definition of gamma function. So it's absolutely wrong because if you use the definition of gamma function then the solution will become complex. So here to get the solution to show the result I'm gonna use the properties of gamma function. So by using the properties you will get answer in minimum number of steps. Now see here we want to prove this value. Now out of that i of n is given here whereas i of n plus 2 we have to prove. And for that, what I'll do is, I will start with i of n plus 2 itself. Now the question is how to get i of n plus 2 from i of n. So it's very simple. Just replace n with n plus 2 in i of n. So it will give us i of n plus 2. I'm, and I'm going to do the same thing. So here I'll say put n equals to n plus 2 in i of n so this will give us i of n plus 2 equal to root pi by 2 gamma n plus 2 plus 1 upon 2 so here i have replaced n with n plus 2 now similarly in the denominator here we will get gamma n plus 2 upon 2 plus 1. So here we got the value of i of n plus 2 but that value must be equal to n plus 1 upon n plus 2 into i of n. So let's find it out. Now to get this answer we want n plus 1 in the numerator and n plus 2 in the denominator. So guys how to achieve that? So for that we will do some adjustments. So in the numerator since I want n plus 1 in the result I will rewrite this term as root pi by 2 gamma now I'll take n plus 1 together so n plus 1 upon 2 and remaining 2 by 2 will give us plus 1 upon gamma this is n plus 2 by 2 plus 1 as it is because here we already have n plus 2 term now the thing is which property should we apply to get the answer so here i'll show you the property so property is like this that is gamma n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n now guys you can observe the similar pattern here in the numerator as well as in denominator so this n plus 1 upon 2 i can consider it as my n and we have plus 1 so that will become n gamma n that is n plus 1 by 2 gamma n plus 1 by 2 and similar thing will apply in the denominator so here we will get i of n plus 2 equal to root pi by 2 n plus 1 upon 2 gamma n plus 1 upon 2 similarly in the denominator we will get n plus 2 upon 2 gamma n plus 2 upon 2 so at both the places I have applied the same property. Now we can cancel this two from numerator as well as from denominator. Now I got n plus 1 and n plus 2. So I will take it outside n plus 1 upon n plus 2. And the remaining term is root pi by 2. Here 
gamma n plus 1 upon 2 and in the denominator inside the gamma we can divide each term by 2 so here we will get n by 2 plus 2 by 2 is 1 now guys it's a last step because the value that we got in the bracket is exactly similar to i of n so see here this value is matching with the value of i of n so hence i can say that this is nothing but i of n and this will become n plus 1 by n plus 2 into i of n and here we have proved the result so guys here i have applied the property of gamma function to get the value so i'm sure that you like this video and if you want to learn more concepts of engineering mathematics then do not forget to log into ekeda.com today itself and you can learn more concepts more numericals and you can also get the updates about the subject on facebook as well as twitter so do not forget to follow us on facebook and on twitter so here i stop thank you very much